Hello everyone, I'm Kerry from Kerry's Crochet. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this humpback whale. The materials you'll need are grey, black and white crochet cotton or wool. I use four ply crochet cotton, sewing thread and a sewing needle to stitch it together, scissors, I use a 1.25mm crochet hook but choose whatever is suitable for the yarn you're using and I use a darning needle to weave in my ends. I'll start on the top part of the body and using my grey I make three chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the remaining chain For row 2 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet into the top of the space at the end. For row 3 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And I work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And I work two single crochet in the last stitch. For row 5 I work one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. And one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch until I get to the last stitch. And into the last stitch I work two single crochet. For row seven I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch till I get to the last two stitches. And I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches.
for row 8 I work 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet into each stitch until I get to the last two stitches. And I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 I work 1 chain and turn and then work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. And I work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 10 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 11 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joint single crochet over the first two stitches One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 I work one chain and turn. I work Two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 13 I work one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 14 I work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 15 I work 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 I work 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. 1 single crochet into each stitch 
to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we work one chain and turn and work two joined single crochet over the first four stitches. So a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. Then we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 18 I work one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 19 I work one chain and turn and I work two joined single crochet over the four stitches. So a joined single crochet over the first two stitches A joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 20 I work one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over both the stitches and then I work one single crochet into the same place as the last part of the joined single crochet into the last stitch. For row 21 I work one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet into the same stitch as the single crochet and the next stitch. For row 22 I work one chain and turn. Work a joined single crochet over both stitches. and one single crochet into the last stitch, the same place as the last part of the joined single crochet. For row 23 I work one chain and turn, work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet into that first stitch and the next stitch, the last stitch. For row 24 I work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both stitches. For rows 25 to 29 I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. So that's rows 25 to 29. For row 30 I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the stitch but I don't turn and that's the whale's body done. I don't fasten off, I'm going to start on this top tail piece now. I start with three chain and I work two double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into the next stitch working down the, the tail piece, just down in there. For row 2 I work 2 chain and turn and I work one half double crochet into each stitch.
For row three I work two chain and turn and I work a half double crochet cluster over all stitches. And that's the body and tail done. I'll fasten that off and I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll do the second part of the tail. Now for the bottom part of the tail I join my cotton, the stitch before the end on the tail, this long tail piece. And I work three chain and then three double crochet in the last stitch. For row two I work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. For row three I work two chain and then I work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And that's the tail part finished. I'm going to do a neatening row just using slip stitch because I don't want the tail part to get too thick. So I don't turn, I just work one slip stitch into each stitch right around the tail and the body. If you'd prefer you could work single crochet but that would make the tail a bit thicker. So I'll just continue right the way around and I'll be back. Now when I get back to where I started I fasten off. And that's the body and the tail done. For the white tummy part I start with a magic loop using my white and I work one chain and work one single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn and I work a single crochet into the stitch from the previous row. For row three I work one chain and turn and work two single crochet into my stitch. For row four I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 5 I work 1 chain and turn, I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into the other stitch. For row 6 I work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch.
For row 7 I work 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into the remaining stitches. For row 8 I work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 9 I work 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 10 I work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 11 I work 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 13 I work 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 I work 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 15 I work one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 17 I work 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 18 I work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 19 I work one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 20 I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
and that's the body finished except for a neatening row. Now I'm only going to neaten along this curved part so I'll start with one chain and I work one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch all the way across. So one single crochet into one stitch and two into the next stitch. That will just keep it from bending in too much. So I'll finish this across to this point here and I'll be back. At the end of the row I'll just slip stitch into the point and fasten off. And that's the tummy part done. I'll do the outer eye now. Using my white I make a magic loop. and work one chain and work six single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. and fasten off. For the inner eye, the black part, I make a magic loop and work one chain and work three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. And fasten off. And I've got a tiny circle. For this front fin here, using my grey, I make a magic loop and work three chain and one double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row two I work three chain and turn. I work a double crochet and a half double crochet into that same place as the chain. And then two half double crochet into the top of the chain. For row 3 I work 3 chain and work a double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And fasten off. And that's the front fin done. For the back fin I start with a magic loop and work 
three chain and one double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight. For row two I work three chain and turn and work one double crochet and one half double crochet into that same place as the chain and then work two half double crochet into the top of the chain from the previous row. For row three I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch across. and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll come back and I'll do a little row of slip stitch along the fins that you could do if you want to. For this line of slip stitch on the small fin I just join my cotton into the tip and work one slip stitch into each stitch just to this next corner here. and fasten off. For the bigger fin I start part way up the side just a bit on from the bend. So in about there and then work one slip stitch into each stitch down to the tip and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. And here's all my pieces. The first thing I'll do is attach the inner eye to the outer eye just at the edge there and the tummy part to the body. It just goes in like that. I do have my patterns on my website if you're having trouble with the placement of anything. Now I'll stitch the two grey lines along the tummy part. They're wider apart of the mouth and they join together getting close to the tail. Now that's the two stripes done. Now I'll attach the eye just in there. This fin with the flat edge goes just under there and the other fin goes about there. I try to get the white part even with the white of the body. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back. There's the finished whale. I've also made one in blue. I'd like to congratulate Bev, Moon and Adele who were the winners of our competition. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. 
The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.